the Bible to the cross from the cross. Every Bible story has three components. First, God's law. Second, God's compassion. Third, God's miracle. Opening your Bible opens miracles. The Bible as one story is holy enough in our lives. Day 183, Isaiah 25 to 29. Isaiah's Pledge. God proclaimed salvation from where South Judah had given up hope, despite his disappointment in them. First point, Isaiah praised God. Isaiah, who proclaimed judgment and the countries surrounding South Judah, praised God. Isaiah praised God as David did for his righteousness. God became the shelter, refuge, and lock to the righteous. As God had protected the people of Israel after Exodus and gave them full protection in the desert, God had likewise protected the people of South Judah. Isaiah could not help praising God. When God heard Isaiah's praise, God showed him the feast in heaven for those who would be saved. This feast would be for all people in all nations who believed in God. Isaiah praised God for his mercy and love. In that day, they will say, Surely this is our God. We trusted in him, and he saved us. This is the Lord. We trusted in him. Let us rejoice and be glad in his salvation. The hand of the Lord will last on this mountain, but Moab will be trampled in their land, as straw is trampled down in the manure. Second point, someone who is right-minded has chances of salvation. To God who promised the salvation, Isaiah sang, In that day, this song will be sung in the land of Judah. We have a strong city. God makes salvation, its walls and rampart. Open the gates that the righteous nation may enter, the nation that keeps faith. Isaiah sang of God's great kingdom. This song would later be sung by the people of South Judah who would return to Jerusalem. Isaiah, therefore, waited for God's salvation for the people. During God's trial, the wicked would not be forgiven and instead perish. Those who would be saved would have to endure for a while, much like Noah, who endured the flood in the ark. Third point, God proclaimed that those who were scattered would return to God and praise Him. Isaiah's song continued, In that day, the Lord will punish with His sword, His fierce, great, and powerful sword, Leviathan the gliding serpent, Leviathan the calling serpent. He will slay the monster of the sea. In that day, sing about a fruitful vineyard. Isaiah also sang of God who governed the vineyard. I, the Lord, watch over it. I water it continually. I guard it day and night so that no one may harm it. In Isaiah chapter 5, God had waited for the people to be like good fruit, but then rebuked them for turning out bad. But now, in Isaiah chapter 27, God once again showed his mercy and love. Isaiah claimed that although God punished the North Israel and South Judah with Assyria, the people were still God's people, whom he loved dearly. Isaiah sang of the day that all his people would come forward to praise him. And in that day, a great trumpet will sound. Those who were perishing in Assyria and those who were exiled in Egypt will come and worship the Lord and the holy mountain in Jerusalem. All in all, this was a prophecy of the restored Jerusalem and the Jerusalem temple. Fourth point, God used the metaphor of a farmer to speak about salvation for his people. God, who expressed himself as a farmer, saves his people. God, the farmer, selected his people and then gave them good land. He then gave each of his people a way to live according to their characteristics. 
He also taught and trained them the way each grain is cultivated in different ways. God also ensured that they were saved. Fifth point, God rebuked South Judah for their wrongs and also for wanting to make an alliance with Egypt. God through Isaiah said, O to you, Ariel, Ariel, the city where David settled. Add year to year and let your cycle of festivals go on. This was God's warning of Jerusalem's fall. But God said that he would deliver South Judah from Assyria. As God said, 185,000 of the Assyrian soldiers died that night. Although God protected the descendants of Abraham, they were rebuked for serving God only on the surface. South Judah committed sin and failed to rely on God. They relied on Egypt and wanted to make an alliance with them, which God rebuked. South Judah did not listen to Isaiah, and God claimed that the countries which South Judah believed to be strong would face Lyric. But God added his message of restoration for them. This predicted the coming of the Messiah. Jesus replied, Go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. God told through Isaiah of the blessing the Lamnons would receive on his day of restoration. When they see among them their children the work of my hands, they will keep my name holy. They will acknowledge the holiness of the Holy One of Jacob and will stand in awe of the God of Israel. I am so excited that you have in your hands now and on your phones the Tongdok Bible app. And let me tell you why. Very few people, just a handful of people in the world understand the way Dr. Zhou does. The way that this is one story from Genesis to Revelation, one story. And what does it mean for us to daily live that story as our life story? And he has found a way to do this. We need daily marinating of our mind and the soaking of our spirit in, in the Word of God. And that's why a, a, a Tom Doc Bible is so important. The scriptures, the story, Genesis to Revelation, is the daily mouth-to-mouth -mouth breathings of the Spirit of God into humans to make us truly who God made us to be. And that's why this app is so important. This app shows you how to do mouth, that God enables God to do mouth to mouth resuscitation on you every day of your life, 365 days a year. I'm so glad you have it. You will feel that healing that comes from mouth to mouth breathings of the Spirit on you as you use this app.